On today's episode, I need to use a mold. Now, if you've been around the channel a while, you'll know that I don't often use molds. So I went online and I bought one. Now, you guys know that I love making my dragon eggs. So when I saw this mold of a dragon, I knew I had to buy it. Now, since I'm trying new things, I also want to try something else I've never done before. Cold casting. The powder I'll be using is a brass powder. It's mixed at a ratio of two parts resin to one part powder. Now, the resin I'll be using for that is Artcast Slow Set. Now since I'm new to all this, I'm sure I'm going to make a few mistakes, and if I do, please let me know. I forgot to put my gloves on. Now we had about 280 grams of resin, so that means I need 140 grams of metal powder. Now that doesn't seem like a lot of powder, but I guess if it's not thick enough, we can just add some more. It's a bit watery. I think I might add some more. The resin's now starting to get thick, so what I need to do is pour it into the mold and then move it all around to try and coat all the edges. Like this has got the potential to get really messy so make sure you got a silicon mat down well one thing's for sure I definitely mixed up too much resin I think I might just pour it all in That'd be right. Now I'm just a little bit short. Okay, I've just mixed up a little more. Let's add it in. I'm just gonna take my torch and flame off the bubbles on top there. So I guess all we have to do now is wait and check on it tomorrow. 
since I've got a little bit of resin left and I really don't want to waste it, I'm going to fill up this little egg mold that I bought. Just enough. So it's now the next day, the resin's all nice and hard, and it's time to take this out of the mold. And I've got to say, I'm really excited for this one. You can probably tell that I'm not used to taking things out of the mold. Wow, look at that. That looks so cool. Looks like I broke a bit of the mold off on there. Look at how cool his face is and all the detail. This mold's really good. I'm just gonna try and get this piece of mold off. So now that the dragon's out of the mold, the next thing I need to do is take some steel wool and try and shine it up a little bit. But before I do that, we need to take a look at this egg that I poured. Well, I think that looks really cool. All I need to do is clean up the bottom here. and We've got ourselves a nice little brass egg. It's actually got a fair bit of weight to it as well. I think what I might do with this one is I might randomly add it into someone's Etsy order over the next few days. So I've now moved back into the workshop for this part. I've got myself some steel wool. I've got some fine, medium and coarse. So I'll start off with the fine one. And I'm just gonna give it a bit of a rub and see if we can create a shine. Definitely getting that shiny brass look. Do you think he likes a belly rub? I'd say that's a smile on his face. So now that I've finished with the steel wool, I'm going to give it a hit with some metal polish. Before we take a look at this awesome dragon, I want to show you some new eggs that I've been working on. I've got this really cool shark egg, kind of looks like Jaws. I've got a whale tail splashing around in the ocean. One of my favorites, a cow eating grass. And this one, which I really love, it's the Mars Rover on Mars. How cool does this one look? Really does look like the red planet. And in addition to my new eggs, I've also finished a Rubik's ball. Now I know a lot of you guys have been asking for these, so this one's now available in the store. And don't forget, I'll also be adding this little brass egg into someone's order. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check them out. Well, it's now time to take a look at our dragon. Are you guys ready? Check it out. How cool does that look? It looks like a little brass statue. I think he's going to be my new channel mascot, but he needs a name. What do you reckon we should call him? You can really see the difference after hitting it with some steel wool and polish. I'm so happy with how this one turned out. It's a bit hard to see on camera, but the shine on the head is unbelievable. Well, that's it for this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. I know it's something a little different, but I know you guys have been asking for some simple projects that don't require a lot of tools. Now, if there's a certain mold or a process that you want me to try, 
let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.